those prophesying that Tinumbu will be arrested should tell Nigerians the crime he committed, as Avid Dokubo says. Welcome to the news. That was the news headline. And before we go to the news details, please do well to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and also the bell for more updates. Now to the news details. Please listen carefully. A shifting of the People's Democratic Party Presidential Campaign Council, PDP PCC, and well known traditional title holder in River States, Kalabari Kingdom, Alajim Azari Mujahid Dokubo, has come out to say that those prophesying that the president elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu, will be arrested, should do well to tell Nigerians what crimes he committed. However, Alaji Azari Mujahid Dokubo made this clear while speaking during a live video on his verified Facebook page a few hours ago. Quoting the statement, quoting the exact statement released by Alaji Azari Mujahid Dokubo, he said, Those prophesying that Tinubu will be arrested should tell Nigerians the crimes he committed. What crime did he, did he commit? What crimes did he commit that he would be arrested for in Nigeria? They are giving people false hope that Tinubu will be arrested at Eagle Square because of a plan somewhere. I don't think people are taking this as seriously as they should. In addition, he further stated, they are boldly saying every day that the president-elect will not be sworn in and people just laugh at it. That was how we said it's impossible that Labour Party will not win Lagos states and they ended up winning there. So Azari Dokubo, if a jihadist, pardon, a traditional ruler in Kalabari has made it known that those saying that Tinumbu will not those saying that Tinumbu will be arrested on the day of swearing in should say whatever he is being whatever crimes he has committed. That Tinumbu in which people think that he has committed a lot of offenses. And remember that Tinubu was alleged of drug trafficking and tagged a drug lot and also forfeiture of $460,000. Now remember that Azari Dokubo is a well supporter of Ashuraji Bola Metinumbu, even before the presidential election and he has always been in support and he the last time he spoke he said that since the southeast are not happy concerning president the president elects that what the president elect can do is that he should zone the zenith presidency to the southeast and where if he do, does that that he will see that the people will actually become his friend while Azari Dokubo, who has been under fire for endorsing Tinumbu and attacking Peter Obi, they've called him a jihadist. But despite the fact, he never relented in supporting the president-elect, Ashuraju Bola Ahmed Tinumbu. The former Nigel Delta militant leader, who has been criticized for endorsing him while downplaying Peter Obi, Believing that Peter Obi is of his state, he's supposed to support Peter Obi as an Hebrew man, not Ashwaji Bola Metinubu. Some Nigerians who has accused Azari Dokubo of fighting a jihad by endorsing Tinubu while antagonizing Obi and other Southeast presidential aspirants. Azari Dokubo said only Tinubu has the pedigree 
among all the 2023 presidential aspirants. While speaking with Arise Television, the former militant leader said only Tinubu has the right to urge Nigerians to vote for him because he is the only one that has transformed his state. Remember that Tinubu was also the former governor of Lagos State. While applauding Tinubu, Dokubo claimed that Obi never recorded any achievements when he was serving as governor of Anambra State, stressing that Obi only provided boroughs and roads as governor. Dokubo insisted that Nigerians need someone better to succeed President Mamadou Buhari in 2023. And right now, Azari Dokubo has said those people who are clamoring that Tinubu should be arrested and that the swearing-in will not hold on May 29 should tell us the reasons, the crimes he has committed. We have come to the end of the news. What's your view? Concerning what Azari Dokuba says, I know you know you have something to say about his statements. Please make an effort to share your comments in the comment section. Thank you.